What's going on guys? What's going on Musgrovers? What's going on Natty Nation? I'm Kevin Musgrove, you're the Musgrover. What's up Musgrovians? What's up guys? So that was me failing at uh, trying to call you guys something like giving my subscribers a name. I asked my friends what they think I should do, like if they have any suggestions of names. They came from Musgrovers, Natty Nation, Musgrovians, uh, <sighs> What else? They came up with some more stuff, but I can't remember them off the top of my head right now. Uh, anyways, I'm here. I just woke up. I just made coffee. My hair's messed up. I don't care. I feel good. Because there's coffee made. And uh, I honestly forgot what I was supposed to do today. So, <laughs> let's ask someone else. Yo, future Kev! Yeah! What are we supposed to do that day? You gotta film that video today! Well, duh! I already knew that! Oh yeah, you gotta like, design that program thing, and then you gotta like, tell people how to do it! Yeah, I'm not really good at this whole like, YouTube thing yet. It's a, it's a learning curve. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure things out. Why do they call it a learning curve? Is it, it's like a, Parabola, do you just like, you start here knowing nothing and then you just like, you learn more and more as you, as you go? It's not important. Anyways, we're going to go on to the next portion of the, um, the vlog. We're basically, I'm just going to go through, I'm going to tell you guys about how, uh, how I designed my own programs and I'm going to just, I'm just going to do a voiceover workout. Um, yeah. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to, while well, I'm doing this portion a little bit differently where I'm not actually like doing sick workout edit edits, what I'm going to do is go over basically how I design um, all my workout programs and uh, go over like kind of like the big picture of things. So like, uh, I guess what I need to do first is like go over like the periodization of it. So you have like this big portion or like this time frame basically to reach a certain goal. So like for me, let's say that like I want to compete in my next physique competition in about a year and I need to, uh, that's going to be called like a macro cycle. That's what a macro cycle is. It's like one, uh, one big goal basically. And then that can be broken down into a meso cycle which is basically just like uh, different phases within the uh, macro cycle. I don't know if I'm a lot of music is in here. Um, and then, like, let's say, alright, so that's like the bulking phase and like the cutting phase. And then in that phase, there's little bitty pieces in there uh, that's all like part of this one big macro cycle. And basically, just like, it's called a micro cycle. So, like, that's like each week is like designed for a certain goal or a specific goal. Um, and then, um, oh, wait, 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 I have notes here. I'm, not, I'm reading my notes so I can get everything down. Um, so like, uh, and that's all part of the bigger purpose, of course. It's like the first three weeks is going to be like, or each month anyways, the first three weeks of like each month would be like, uh, I'm constantly like building and I'm constantly growing. You want to design your program for like, obviously progress. So like, my goal is obviously a better physique, so getting bigger muscles and getting leaner. So yeah, the first three weeks is going to be basically like a progression of like, me with doing more repetitions and more sets and then I had to take like a deal week on the fourth week where I basically like back off the intensity, back off of the sets to let my body kind of recover and then I get back into it a little bit harder the next week and I do that for three weeks again and take another deal with week. So basically you always want to start off with um, your compound movements. So like for the for chest it might be the bench press. For, for legs it's gonna be squats. For shoulders it's gonna be the shoulder press. Like those are like the harder movements. So you design you put those exercises first in your regimen so that you're not weaker when it comes to those exercises. Um, and that's basically now there's like different splits you can do too. So like another thing you want to do in the Zonic program is make sure that um, you're not working out the same muscle twice. So like 
Whenever you work out back, work on your biceps. Whenever you work out chest, work on your triceps. You just want to structure your workouts in a way so where you're not, or to where you're giving your muscles enough time to recover, basically. So, a popular one would be push, pull, leg. So, push would be chest, triceps, uh, and then also shoulders. And then pull would be back, biceps, and traps. I believe. Yeah, traps. And then push legs. And then you can take a day of rest and repeat that. Or you can just do push pull legs, push pull legs, rest. But that's basically it. Uh, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Say man. So like, say man. Who am I? What? So check this out, man. At the gym, uh, I, I just started filming for uh, the the video and everything, right? Or the videos that I'm, I'm doing for my workout program. And uh, this dude, I see this dude walk up to the front desk. I'm in the free weight section so I can see him in the mirrors, walk up the front desk and point to my direction. Uh, so I turn around to like, be like, hey dude, I see you. Uh, I know you're talking about me. You know, one of those things. He walks off, front desk calls me up. They're like, hey dude, uh, just, just so you know, like this guy might try to cause some problems with you. Uh, he said he doesn't like the fact that you were filming in here and he's going to look in his contract to see where it says you can or cannot film in here. And uh, I was like, yeah, dude, uh, it's it's fine. Like, I, I talked to the, one of the regional managers about it who said it was okay, they don't really have anything against it, as long as I'm not, like, walking around filming other people, which I wasn't. And I even tried to set up my camera in a way so that I wouldn't get anyone except for myself. I mean, if someone, like, happened to, like, walk by or whatever, you know, they might catch that in the background. But as far as, like, me just filming, like, they don't have anything against that. So... Yeah, uh, screw that guy. Also, uh, I think that's the rest of the vlog. Ah, peace!